Sai Lokaseva Gurukulam online classes. We've been learning differentiation, uh, especially trigonometric functions. Yeah. Now, find the second order derivative of each of the following function. Now, we are given a function and asked to differentiate it. Find the second order derivative. We have learned how to find the second order. We first differentiate it once to find the first order. And then the derivative is again differentiated to get the second order derivative. So, as usual, let's say let y equal to, equal to x squared tan inverse of x. Now, this is a product of two functions, right? The first function is an algebraic function. The second function is an inverse trigonometric function. So, it's a product rule is what we are supposed to use here. So, let's differentiate with respect to x. So, what do we get? y on differentiation gives you dy by dx is equal to the first function to remain unaltered, second function to be differentiated. Tan inverse of x on differentiation will give you 1 by 1 plus x square. Please go back to the formulas, make a list of it and keep it so that it is useful when you want to differentiate. Now, plus tan inverse of x remains unaltered and the first function that is x square is getting differentiated. It's You have to first use the power law. x square when differentiation differentiated gives you 2x. Okay. Now, again, as I told you, Rearranging the terms is very, very important. How do we do that? The first term is a multiplication. So, I'm just going to multiply like how we multiply the fractions plus here it's a combination of two functions. If you always observe, the algebraic function gets the priority. Put that first 2x tan inverse of x. Basically, to avoid the confusion, whether the angle gets over here or this also is getting included. So, it's always better that you put the algebraic function first to avoid such confusion. So, this is your dy by dx. Now, you're supposed to find the second order derivative, meaning you're going to differentiate this again. So, this is my first order derivative. So, let me differentiate this again. So, differentiating 1 with respect to x again. So, what do you get? You get d square y by dx square. That's your second order derivative. Now, every term is differentiated. So, let's first differentiate this. This is of the form u by v. So, the denominator is kept a constant. Differentiating the numerator minus the numerator is kept a constant. Differentiating the denominator divided by the denominator squared plus again you're supposed to differentiate this there's a product of two functions an algebraic and an inverse trigonometric function so let's use uv we will use this as our first function this as our second function so the first function is kept as it is the second function is differentiated plus the second function is kept unaltered while the first function is differentiated. So now how are we going to simplify this? So expressing the answer in the right way matters now. So now what do we do? We simplify the numerator. I have 1 plus 2x squared, 2x cubed, right? x squared into 2x is 2x cubed minus 2x cubed again divided by 1 plus x square, the whole square, plus you multiply this, you get 2x by 1 plus x square plus 2 tan inverse of x. So, the numerical coefficient takes the priority, it goes as the coefficient there. Now, plus, sorry, this is equal to, now these two gets cancelled out, so 1 by 1 plus x square, the whole square, plus 2x by 1 plus x square, plus 2 tan inverse of x. Is there an opportunity to simplify further? Yes, of course. There is a common denominator. 
you can add the terms up taking 1 plus x square the whole square as an LCM so 1 plus 2x into 1 plus x square plus 2 tan inverse of x it's up to you you can take it as a common LCM for all three also and express it so 1 plus 2x plus 2x cube by 1 plus x square the whole square plus 2 tan inverse of x you can express it like this and this is your second order derivative or you can stop it here this is also a way to express it unless and until it is asked to express it in a given way you're free to stop it wherever you feel that it is properly represented let's move on to the next one here it says y is equal to half sine inverse of x the whole square show that 1 minus x square into y2 minus x into y1 is equal to 1 what is y2 and y1 y1 is your dy by dx and y2 is your d squared y by dx squared the first order derivative is also expressed as y1 and the second order ex, uh, derivative can be expressed also as y2 so let's first find y1 i'm differentiating with respect to x however it is expressed in the question the same way we need to express it please remember that so your y1 is going to be half is a numerical coefficient the outermost function is a power function so use the power formula bring down the power subtract 1 from it 2 minus 1 is 1 so you have 2 sine inverse of x into then the sine inverse of x is differentiated that gives you 1 by root of 1 minus x square so on simplification you get sine inverse of x by root of 1 minus x square as your y1 now i need to find my y2 also which is their part of the question so i'm going to differentiate this with respect to x again So, y1 on differentiation gives me y2. Here I use the u by v. So, I keep the denominator a constant. Differentiating the numerator, that is sine inverse of x on differentiation gives me 1 by root of 1 minus x square minus. Now, the then the numerator is kept a constant, unaltered rather. And when we differentiate the denominator, what do we do? We express it like this power half for our easy differentiation. Now we use the power law. So bring down the power, subtract 1 from the power, then differentiate the inner function that is 1 minus 2x minus x square. That is nothing but minus 2x. So again, I cancel this out. I get minus x by root of 1 minus x square this is what i get when i differentiate 1 minus x square the whole power half so let me put that here so this minus and this minus becomes plus into x by root of 1 minus x square divided by the square i'll just erase this part this is for your understanding that i put it there by the square of the denominator so when you square the denominator the square root goes off so here this gets cancelled you have 1 plus x sine inverse of x by root of 1 minus x square the whole divided by 1 minus x square this is my y2 look at the way that it has to get expressed let me take this to the other side because apparently in the question y2 is accompanied by 1 minus x square. So let me put it there. So it goes here. When I take it to the other side, I have 1 plus x sine inverse of x by root of 
1 minus x square. Now what do I do? Do I have anything there? What is my y1? If you see my y1, my y1 is sine inverse of x by root of 1 minus x square, right? So that is what I have here. Can I replace it by y1? Yes, I can. Here it is y2. This is y2 getting multiplied here. So I have y2 into 1 minus x square is equal to 1 plus x y1. Because this is what is my y1, right? Now, should I stop it here? No. The question is show that this minus this is equal to 1. So I bring this to this side. So I have y2 and I put the algebraic coefficient first minus when I take it to the other side it goes as minus x y1 is equal to this 1 remains here itself. This is what we are supposed to prove and we have proved it hence proved. So in this question we are able to see that not only we are asked to differentiate it twice, but we are asked to express it in a particular way. So depending on that, you need to put the terms in its places so that you are able to express it in the given way. So go back to this video. Keep watching this question for you to get to know how to solve such problems. Now moving on to the next question. It says show that cos square x d square y by dx square plus 2 minus 2y plus 2x is equal to 0. This is what we are supposed to prove. So for this I need d square y by dx square. Let's quickly try to find that out. For that I should first differentiate it once. So differentiating the given function with respect to x. So dy by dx is equal to x on differentiation gives me 1 plus tan x on differentiation gives me secant square x. This is my dy by dx. Now, again I am going to differentiate because my result has d square y by dx square on it. So, I have d square y by dx square is equal to 1 on differentiation gives me 0 plus secant square x. It is a part function. So, first bring down the part 2 secant x. And secant x on differentiation gives me secant x tan x. So, my d square y by dx square is 2 secant square x tan x. Now, what am I supposed to prove? I am supposed to prove that with this, like how we did in the previous question, it is not easy to rearrange because I do not have any y here and all that. So, what do I do? I can substitute things whatever I know there and see if it is leading me to 0. Okay, so let us use that technique. So I have cos square x into d square y by dx square. What is my d square y by dx square? This is the one. Okay, minus 2y. What is my y? x plus tan x plus 2x. Let us observe what it is. Is equal to, how do I rewrite this? cos square x into 2 into secant square x is 1 by cos square x into tan x. This is minus 2x. This is minus 2 tan x plus 2x. Now minus 2x plus 2x goes off here itself. Cos square x cos square x gets cancelled. So I have 2 tan x minus 2 tan x which will lead me to a 0 that is my right hand side. So not always one technique works. In the previous one we could just rearrange the terms and get the solution. But here we need to substitute the values and prove that it is 0. So you can try this technique also in the previous question and see if you are able to solve it. It is again mathematics is quite creative. We can never say that you have only one particular solution. You're, you have the freedom to use the rules of mathematics and try to solve it the way you want. That's the beauty of math. Please do try and in case you have alternate solutions, 
please post it on the comment box. Thank you.